Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Idle Game series. Today we're going to get started with setting up our notation system. Now, it's going to be quite. Te it's not going to be too bad. To, um, I've done notation quite a lot before, but I'm going to try something different today. So let's let's just get straight into it. Sorry if it sounds uh, like if my mic sounds bad as well because I got a bit of a cold. So sorry if I sound a bit like sniffly. Anyway, let's get into it. Right, to get started, we're going to open up our methods script. Now, because this method script is not actually in our hierarchy anywhere, which let me show you when it uh, you know loads, because this script is not actually in the hierarchy, we, we don't need to drag it onto a script, so we can actually remove the uh, mono behavior because we don't even need to be using Unity Engine either. So we can remove the mono behavior and also make it a public static class so it can be accessed from uh, any script without needing to initialize it. So we can remove those because we don't need them at the moment. Save that and get into what I actually wanted to do. Now, also let me just mention that you will also see that this list isn't actually being used for anything at the moment. Uh, we are going to be using it uh, in a few episodes time. After we've done notation, I'm thinking about uh, improve expanding on our data system but I'm not sure because it's going to be very long it's going to be hard work but it needs to be done you know you've got to get the hard stuff out of the way so I think we will do that in a few episodes time and then we'll be improving this all anyway so don't worry about that okay so at the top of our method script here we are going to uh, create a public static and this is going to be an integer and we're going to call this notation this will be our like notation number, so we're gonna have like because you know how we've got in another script. Let me, I think. So I think um, navigation might be an example. Yeah, you see how we got these cases here. We're gonna be doing that, but for um, notations as well. Now this is gonna be very similar to how I've done it before. I'm just trying to think how we can do. Yeah, you know what? We'll just go with it. So. We've got the notation right here, and we're then going. Basically, the notation is going to be the number of the case. So you know, zero will be like you know, x one. You know, you get the point. So now we're going to make a public static, and obviously we want all of these to be stat. Sorry, statics. So this one's going to be a static string, so we can access them from other scripts without needing to make um. So instead, instantiate them. This will be called notate, and we'll make it. Now, we uh, I'm not going to do anything special here. I'm just going to get a basic switch statement down so we don't have our errors. Um, we're going to get the notation in here because we're going to be switching between that case, and then zero. We are going to return. Uh, we'll just return like zero, not for now. We'll sort this out another time. Case one, we're going to return one. And we'll do more when necessary. Then under here, we're also going to return by default just blank, a blank string. Just so we, we won't get any errors. We'll come back to this. Okay, so now we want to head over into the realm of Unity. Open our canvas and find our settings. We're just going to turn that on and what we're going to do is we're going to right click I'm going to add in a UI. Does this close button work? Yes. Yes, so I'm going to right click I'm going to add in a UI and no I'm not, I'm just going to create an empty game object and I'm going to call this settings panel, right? And this is going to be uh, the, this is going to be the area in which all of the uh, settings will Spawn. So make sure the p position on the X there is zero. Um, don't really worry too much about the Y. Doesn't really matter. Just position it how you want it. And then I'm going to right click, add in a UI. And actually, no, I'm going to add on a component into this. And that's going to be a grid layout. I'm going to add that. I might add a vertical. Yeah, I'm going to add a vertical layout just because then it will go down. And I'm going to control child size. I'm actually not going to do that. 
I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna add in a UI. Oh, not a camera. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna right click, add a UI, and then a button. And an easy way to get the size of these buttons will just be to nick another button. So if I open button, just duplicate, click, and drag it in there. There we go. And this time I'll rename this to Notation. So I'm going to call this button, and it's going to be a bit more like that. Uh, you know, I'll just make it the whole size. I may as well. I'm not going to go too too like in depth of detail. I'm just going to make this a rectangle. Look at that. And then the text is going to be notation. I'll just make the text white as well. Now, obviously, I'm not exactly going for detail here. I'm just kind of rushing this. These assets are not good at all for an idle game. They're not meant for an idle game, but it is what it is. And then there we go. And then once I've done that, I'm going to turn off the vertical layout group because it takes up loads of CPU usage, which we don't want. So when we don't need something like this, we can just turn it off. And then if we add a new one in the future, a new setting, let's just duplicate this. Let's say we added a few more new ones, we would click turn on and it would sort it all out for us. If we just kept adding more and more, eventually, they will, um, yeah, they'll, they'll get to a point where it gets ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to make these the upper center as well, and I'm going to control the child size. Um, I do want to, I can't, I, I'm not going to control the child size at all, actually. It will just get to a point where it will get too much. So anyway, I'm going to turn that off now. So let's save that. And let's right click, create a new C Sharp script, and we'll call this one settings. Oh, we already have a setting script. Of course we do. Sorry, that was me being uh, silly. Let's open that up, and uh, let's start coding. Okay, so we are going to separate all of this here, and we're going to make a public. Uh, I should probably do this at the top. Uh, right at the top, we're going to make a public static settings, and we'll call this instance, because once again, we're going to make a singleton here. And right here, I'm going to say private, oops, not public, private, void awake. I didn't, no, I don't want that, there we go. Awake, I'm going to do the equals bigger than instance. I cannot spell instance equals this. And there we go. Now we've done our void awake to um, declare the instance. Then we're going to make a public void. Now, you know how in the upgrade manager we did start upgrade manager rather than start? We're going to do that here. We're going to say start. Whoops, my caps lock is on. But this one's not going to be start upgrade manager, this will be start settings. And then in here we'll say methods dot notation equals zero. Because by default the notation will be equal to zero. We'll probably save this in the future, but for now we'll just set it to zero by default. So let's now go into our main game. And well we've got this upgrade manager here, we'll just say settings dot instance dot start settings down here and the, sorry there we go now we're going to head over to the data script and we're going to make a public oh, int notation and down here we'll just say notation equals zero save that and then in settings here rather than saying equals zero this is where we're going to do the saving we're going to say equals main game dot instance dot data dot and then um, notation like so okay now we're gonna make the real start so where should we start this is gonna be quite uh, you know what I'll st we'll go through the different types of notations in another video but for now we'll start with standard notation and yeah we'll just start with standard so well, up just above this method dot notation thing, we're going to say notation names equals new, and this will become uh, we'll call this standards. We won't make any more yet. We'll do that in another video. We also need to make a public string array 
called notation names. Alright, that's the start settings done for now. Next, we're going to make a public void um, change settings. This will be what will actually change our thing. Uh, or just, uh, yeah, we'll just, okay, we'll just do change settings. Um, and we'll call this string and then setting name. So we can actually just do change setting. Not uh, We can do the singular, not the, um, you know, what is it? Plural. Uh, so here we'll say we can say var data equals main game dot instance dot data to save us for short having to type that out each time. Then we can say switch because we're going to make a switch case here with the settings name now. And if the case of the setting is called notation, which is the only thing we currently have, we're going to say data dot notation plus plus, which basically means add one. We're never going to add more than one to it, so. Just keep that as plus plus. Um, so um, here we'll say if data dot notation is bigger than uh, notation names dot length minus one, then we're gonna say data dot notation equals zero, like so, uh, and then we'll break it for now. Not base, we'll break. Um, right now, we're going to make a public void sync settings or setting, which we're going to use for syncing the settings. I uh, don't think we'll do that yet because we've not finished our save system and things yet. So I'm not sure if we'll do that today or not, but. It depends. Yeah, no, because it might get long. We'll see, we'll see. Depends on the time. Oh yeah, and then after this data dot notation equals zero, so I'm gonna say data dot notation equals notation. I got that completely wrong. We want <laughs> notation equals data dot notation, and then we are gonna add in a notation here, not notation names. So we just want notation. And then here we'll make a public int notation like so that is not what we want to do you know what? we'll come back to that but I do just want to quickly say that right here we want to call sync setting and um, what else what else what else uh, under this break thing we also want to call sync setting but in here we're gonna put um, setting name in the brackets and that's not meant to be after the break either it's meant to be under the switch there we go well, I'm just being silly the reason this isn't working is because we need to do methods dot notation or do we need to do methods dot instance dot notation oh no we can just do notation is it because we made it all static didn't we yeah, it's because we made the whole class static and the uh, notation's also static, that's why. So we didn't need the instance. Uh, so we do methods.notation equals data.notation. There we go. Okay, now to, for the sync setting. What, oh, should I use it for saving or. You know what? No, we'll do that in another. So, no, I'll, you, I'm going to use this for the text. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if setting. Uh, no, we don't setting names. We just want setting name. If setting name um, equals string. No, I want string. Uh, string dot empty. Uh, I need to use a namespace here. What namespace? Um, we need to be add. We need to add using system at the top here. So using system. So if string dot empty, so if the string is empty and doesn't contain any characters, we're going to say setting, uh, setting. Uh, we're we're going to make this in a bit, but we'll say setting text dot text. Uh, I'll make this now because that would annoy me. We're going to make a public string array setting text like so. Um, I don't know how many we'll have. You know, we'll just go with the flow. We'll leave that as it is. And this isn't, by the way, this isn't the strings to the text. 
that's being silly here. So th uh, this will be using Unity Engine dot UI to get the text there. So the uh, settings text array is not a string array; it's actually a text array. Uh, back to our sync settings. So we're going to say dots uh, dot text. There we go. Equals. And we're going to do the dollar sign for string interpolation. And we'll say notation. Uh, colon, and now I want to get a backslash. I don't know if I have that anywhere because I don't have it on my keyboard. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and copy it somewhere now. Yeah, here, backslash. Right. Uh, we're gonna say backslash. N to create a brand new line. Uh, and then we're gonna do braces, and we're gonna say notation names, and then it will be the notation in square brackets. But then obviously. The notation that we want you have, is only accessible by methods dot like so. Uh, oh yeah, we want the uh, thing on the end here, semicolon, and we also then want to return like so. Now underneath this, we're going to say switch setting name, and then we we'll do case, and then this will be notation, obviously. Uh, because if we're using the notation setting here, um, then we'll say setting text zero uh, dot text. So the zero is obviously the first index of the uh, item in the array because that's how they work in C sharp. So sorry if I'm not explaining this very well this episode. I'm just a bit ill at the moment. Um, Basically, for sure, this will be our text for our first notation. Basically, so we're then we'll say equals and then a dollar sign. I'm gonna try and explain things better next episode and future episodes, but I'm just a bit ill at the moment, so I've got a sore throat as well. So kind of, you know. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna say dollar sign and then the quotation marks, notation backslash n. Uh, also, we want colon here, backslash n, just to make it look nice. Uh, braces, and then this will be notation names. And then in here, we're going to say methods dot notation. Again, like so. And break. And there we go. I think that's, oh, get rid of that hashtag, that's looking good. What we're going to do now is something that I think is really cool. We're going to go into our methods. Uh, I should probably save the game. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to go into the methods. Not the methods. No, no not save system. Sorry. But yeah, the methods. And when we've got this notate here, public str stack string notate, in here we're going to say this, and then double, or big double. If you're using big doubles, do doubles, whatever. This double, and then we'll call this number. And now, we've basically made, so you know how there's dot two string, we've kind of made something like that, but with doubles and numbers. So if we save that, go in settings, or not settings, main game, and rather than saying um, dot money, dot two string, we say dot notate, uh, or not, data dot, how, how, hang on, what's happened here? Oh, sorry, it's because my uh, things are all big doubles and not... Okay, so what you want is in the methods, I'm going to put this as a big double, which means I'm going to have to be at using break infinity at the top. And then now this should work. So, whoops. Uh, ooh. If I now go to my main game and say data.money dot notate, and there you go, it works. Like, that's lovely. There we go. Okay, back in uni. Actually, before we head back in uni, I want to go to the data. And I'm going to remove the public UN MPS speaker. Oh, whoops, because we don't actually use, oh my, because we don't actually use that anymore. So let me save that. We might, we'll probably get some errors now, but we'll fix those in a minute. Now I'm going to head back into uni. Yeah, we got a few errors. We got one error. Let's just remove that. There we go. Save that. There we go. There we go. Sorry. And now in, in the uh, notate. Uh, we'll get back to that actually. I'm going to go into the scripts. I'm going to just duplicate an old game object and I'll uh, change it. This will become. Um, should I just leave it as it is? Oh, I didn't want to close the tab. Whoops. Oh, you know what? We'll delete the um, thing there. 
let me uh, show an inspector uh, right uh, right click properties there we go it's better um, so what we've got now is the setting text with this is going to become if I go into the notate dragging that text into there that will make the first text there we go notation names we've already got the names done in the script so we want to just drag the text in the notation under the setting text as the first element by clicking add and then dragging in next we want to click notation right here um, if that would work that would you know okay I'm just gonna close the tab here and I'm gonna re-add it because it's not responding how I want it so I'm gonna right click panels and then I'm gonna click on not that I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click on um, general and then inspector there we go drag that to the side this button here I'm gonna drag in the settings handle onto the on click and make setting I'm going to click settings and then change setting this will be notation now let's give this a play I'm going to close my settings so we can test it right from the beginning as you can see it says money zero we are gaining but this just shows that the notation works because if we look at the um, settings here We've got the two things here to be, oh, not, not settings, methods. Yeah, return zero and return one. So that means now when we click settings, oh, settings, this should, the money should go to one. Right, it's not. That is interesting. Okay, give me a minute, everyone. Oh, of course, the reason it's not working is because we only have one notation type. Oh wow, so what we want to do here is add a comma and we'll make a scientific for now. That's why. So now let's go into, yeah, let's just keep that. Uh, case notation, yep, that'll do. Um, let's now go into our methods. And yeah, there we go, look. That should work now because we only had one like actual name. So now if we do it, it should work. Let's press play. Yeah, and as you can see, scientific standard, and the money increases, there we go, so it works, that's awesome. So let's uh, file, save Unity, um, I'm going to close that down now, that was a uh, whoops there. So thanks for watching this one everyone, it works now, next episode we're going to actually make our first notation. So I'll see you then, so thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, make sure to comment if you need any help, and if you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe, and thank you.